Climbing and rappelling don't require tremendous muscular strength. They demand mental toughness and the willingness to practice hard to master a set of skills. The adventure of climbing and rappelling can also provide a new way to enjoy the outdoors. Raise your hand if you ever done any type of climbing, okay? Rock climbing, natural climbing, tower climbing, tree climbing. People climb towers and mountains. Look at the view to enjoy nature, be outside. It's great. It's a great way, great way to start them. Great way to introduce them to how a troop can do their activities. In our next meeting, um, I'm gonna bring a bunch of harnesses and helmets. Right, put on the harness. What's up? Yep. Hold it tight. I never probably do two repels each. All right, you're good, good. Go around. Thank you. Thank you. All right, you're good. Play is on. I'm on. With the proper guidance, encouragement, and support, climbing and rappelling gives even those scouts who are less fond of heights an opportunity to come face to face with and work through their concerns. Climbing and rappelling are among the most exciting scouting activities, whether at a climbing gym, a tower at scout camp, or at the summit. Scouts will enjoy the physical rush of descending on a rope and the mental challenge of finding a path to the top.